unpopular opinion the one product that irritates me more than any product on the market is conditioner and today i'm gonna tell you why the human hair shaft only absorbs a portion of the products that you put on it but today we're talking about conditioner right because across social media you will look online and you'll see different people talking about conditioners and how certain conditioners don't work and how certain conditioners didn't do anything for their hair and then after that you'll see people add loads and piles and piles of product it doesn't look like my hair is absorbing the product it looks like it's kind of just sitting on top usually when I apply deep conditioner my hair isn't this white you even hear certain cosmetologists or other professionals tell you to use piles and piles of product on your hair. But the quickest way for you to waste and throw your money in the trash is to do this. There is no quicker way. You might as well, when you use this much conditioner, you might as well take the money out of your account and set it on fire. You might as well just get on YouTube and find a whole bunch of random people that you don't even like, that you're not even subscribed to, and just donate money to their accounts. It could, and that, that won't make no sense, will it? Well, guess what? Using this much conditioner doesn't make sense either because the human hair shaft can only absorb anything but anywhere between 30 to 40 percent of what whatever you put on it mind you this is that 30 to 40 percent is going to be dependent on your porosity dependent on dependent on your porosity sometimes your health and a couple of different factors right but the human hair shaft is not able to absorb even 50 percent of these puddles you'll take gobs of leave-in conditioner your favorite leave-in conditioner hopefully it's hair rules nourishment leave-in moisturizer and guess what by the way for years, we have been told by you that we needed to get larger sizes because the stuff was so good. So we went from an eight ounce to a 25 ounce. <laughs> that you will put in on your hair. So when you guys are watching videos like this and you are putting all of these different products and things of that nature in your hair, you are literally wasting money. And across social media, anytime a celebrity or anybody comes out with a product, the first thing y'all do is run to the conditioner and put puddles of it in your hair. You're wasting your money. The reason that a, a professional cosmetologist will never do that unless they dusty stop it get some help the reason they're never going to do it is because they understand that your hair can only absorb 36 to 40 percent of what you put on it so for example even if i take a quarter size amount of conditioner and put it in my hand and put it on my hair my hair can only absorb 30 to 40 percent of whatever i just put in it so when you have your hair covered and saturated in product to the point where you can see it dripping oh look at the way it glide down look at the way it glide down look at that okay let's try it hmm okay so off the bat, I can tell just like the deconditioner, um, this product is more so sitting on my hair. Definition that I have, it's just not super defined. First of all, as I kept feeling my hair as I was sectioning it to do the wash and go, I'll see it's already starting to flake. And it has only been a day. But I'm not going to blame that on... Then you are literally just wasting your money. You're setting your money on fire. If you can visually see the conditioner like sitting on your hair in lumps you use entirely too much. Remember, the human hair shaft can only absorb anywhere between 30 to 40% of what you put on it. So any other product any other product outside of that is just sitting directly on the scalp that's why when you see a hairstylist is doing a, let's say like a flat arm right even a silk press 
you only spray a little bit on from a certain distance why the hair can only absorb anywhere between 30 to 40 percent so any product that i put on outside of that 30 to 40 percent is going to sit on top of the hair and the hair isn't going to absorb it which means it's going to make the hair heavier this is why if you do a silk if you do a silk press right and you get your hair bone straight and then you turn around and put some blue magic or even some almond oil on your hand and put it on your hair your silk press will be a stringy mess why because the oil has a way larger molecular weight than something like a serum does and the hair shaft can only absorb anywhere between 30 to 40 percent so if you put a oil with a larger molecular weight on the hair and your hair can only absorb 30 to 40 percent of it whatever the difference is outside of that 30 to 40 percent is sitting on your hair and weighing it down this is why you only use products sparingly and this is why black women are the leading causes of scalp and follicle infections because y'all have been following people who know nothing about the human body and y'all have been doing y'all hair like this and adding products like this because y'all think that products are what does hair y'all think products are what makes hairstyles and the team natural community taught y'all that with the twist and the lucky locks and the stuff because because for you to fall in love with your natural curls, you have to put a whole bunch of products on it to help you define those curls, right? It's all about curl definition. So even though, yeah, your curls are defined, the majority of the product is sitting on the hair. And when you lay down, guess where it is? Directly on the scalp, feeding all of the different forms of yeast and bacteria, those Demodex mites that I tell you about, they come out at night right and their favorite food is oil and they also love all of the lipids and all of the different botanicals that are in these oils so this is why you should really limit the amount of oils and butters that you're putting on your hair oils and butters have their place right and conditioners also have their place conditioners are not styling products conditioners are not detangling agents in the beauty supply store, they have products labeled as conditioners and then they have products labeled as detanglers. And they're not the same product. They're two completely different products. And most of the time in like Cosmoprof, when you go into Cosmoprof, you don't see that many detanglers because most professional cosmetologists understand that they don't need a detangler, right? Because most detanglers are wet. And if your hair is tangled, the last thing you're gonna do is wet it and break the bond and paralyze the hair. That's the easiest way to get mad at hair. If you have braids, and then you take the braids out and then get right in the shower you're gonna have matted hair when you guys see these videos on youtube where these women are combing their hair out in the shower and they like oh yeah this is natural hair this is shed hair you're supposed to lose 55 to 100 strands baby a ball of hair in your hand like that is way more than 55 to 100 strands of hair that is not normal conditioners are not detangler and aids even though the women that you guys are watching on youtube they all have super long hair and y'all like oh yeah look at their hair and they do it like this most of these women are in their 20s but when you get into your 50s it's a completely different ball game so i believe everybody should like change their focus there's so many women so many black women on youtube that do not do team natural stuff that have long beautiful and thick hair so as you can see their hair is freaking gorgeous beautiful and they're not in a bondage of using flat irons and blow dryers some of them have relaxers they're not in bondage from having relaxers they just have certain patterns and certain routines and by you overusing products and oversaturating your hair with products the only person you're helping aiding helping or aiding is the product line and the thing is these product lines are not going to come out and say stop using that much 
don't use big old handfuls they're not gonna tell you to do that they're gonna tell you to keep doing it because they know that if you using hand like if you using handfuls if you're doing this then you're gonna be buying a you're gonna be buying a bottle of that stuff a month two bottles a month two three bottles a month if this is how much conditioner you're using within the seven day challenge the women that are in there are like oh my god Sam, i cannot believe how much money i used to spend on products i cannot believe how much i used to run through products and now i've had this bottle of shampoo and conditioner i've had the same bottle for three months yeah there's a method to the madness and unfortunately this way don't really have a whole bunch of like aesthetically pleasing cuts and i think that's what did it because Because it's so satisfying for you guys to watch somebody comb through their curls with a whole bunch of oils and butters and things of that nature. But this does not have longevity. If you keep combing your hair out like this when you in your early 20s, by the time you get to your 50s, you're going to have this much hair on your head. And I'm not being rude or disrespectful. The clients that I service now, I'm no longer behind the chair. I'm more of a consultant, right? And the clients that I service now are in their 60s and all of the practices that they used to have are all of the practice that all of the girls that want to argue or swear by so for everybody just like ah because it worked for me guess what everything works until it doesn't and remember you were warned that's what i'm going to start saying in all of my comment section it's exhausting and i don't even want to delete y'all comments no more i'm just going to start that's going to be the thing that I put in the comments for everybody. Everything works until it doesn't. Remember on today you were warned. So that way when you sitting in the bed. And you like oh my god. I'm about to be a skittle diddle. With no hair in the middle. You can remember the day that I told you. That everything works until it doesn't. The day that you get up and your hair is falling out. Is the day that it stopped working. Um. Not trying to be an asshole. When we say somebody has low porosity hair, that doesn't mean that, oh, your porosity's low, so nothing's gonna absorb. That's not what that means. Low porosity hair is low key, like. What kind of car you drive? What kind of, what kind of snacks they got over there? I don't know if I wanna come over there. What kind of snacks they got? Like, so it's different. It's not all like choked up into like oh conditioner is good or conditioner is bad and then as it pertains to absorption you guys that's the difference between a regular conditioner and a deep conditioner a regular conditioner is just going to put back whatever the shampoo took out and it's just going to act as a protective layer over the hair shaft through your styling practices and whatever else is going on until the next time you wash your hair versus a deep conditioner does that as well as the molecules are smaller most of the time they go deeper they're not just like a sealant over the hair shaft they go deep into the cortex of the hair shaft to do a certain thing depending on what's on the label so a replenishing conditioner is going in there to replenish whatever it say is replenishing on the package right a moisturizing deep conditioning treatment is going into the hair shaft to do things that make the hair appear more moisturized and things of that nature i hope that that makes sense but when we're talking about conditioners or deep conditioners Conditioners, you're not making it go deeper or stay in there no longer or stronger by adding more product or sitting under the dryer longer. All it can absorb is that 33 to 40 percent, depending on the size of the molecule, right? It may take it a little longer for it to absorb, and that's why you have to follow the directions on the product. I don't care if I say 10 15 minutes, if the back of the bottle that you use is say 35 minutes, whatever the product formulation that they have it needs 30 to 45 minutes to penetrate so do that and don't leave it on no faster than that what are you doing that for your hair can only absorb 30 to 40 percent of whatever you put on it you leaving it on for seven years isn't gonna let it absorb any more than it is the only thing you're doing is weakening the hair shaft and causing a overgrowth of bacteria and yeast on the scalp by leaving it in longer for hours and days you're not helping you're only hurting and if you disagree Leave me in, leave it in the comments below. What exactly are you doing to help, right? Knowing everything that we said, what exactly does you use it leave a conditioner in your hair for three days? What does that do to help? 
remember you also don't even really need a steamer like you don't need a steamer or a dryer for a deep conditioning treatment you can literally get a, i mean not, maybe not your grocery store bags because they had the groceries in there and it's kind of dusty but let's say you don't have the money to afford you don't got the money to go get you know bags from nowhere else yes you could literally get a hot towel you can go get a, a smoking hot towel right that's been soaking in water or whatever and then you can put one cap over like your hair obviously gotta be wet i really recommend getting caps like this right this whole pack oh, this whole pack that i got was like four dollars and look how many of them there are like it's so so many of these caps in here right And you could literally just get one cap out like your hair is already wet right and then you get this cap out put this cap on your wet hair put this cap on your wet hair and then after you put this cap on your wet hair you get that hot towel put that hot towel make sure it ain't steaming hot you don't want to kill your brain self, huh but make sure you put that like this cap is already on wet hair and then you put that hot towel around like put sit the hot towel on top of your head and then immediately after you do that put another cap on you want to be real extra do two so technically three caps one on your hair that's wet then the wet towel then another two caps and if you want to get real nasty with it after you add that first towel in the cap you can add a second towel and then a second cap do that for about 20 minutes and you've just given yourself a steam treatment at home you do not need to go and buy dryers and all of that stuff you don't and there is your conditioning treatment and that's it that's all you don't need to overly saturate your hair you don't need to walk around the house with for 40 minutes for seven days and seven nights 40 days and 40 nights with conditioner on your hair don't do that because what's crazy and not funny the majority of women mistake a uh, lack of elasticity for their hair feeling good like oh it got slip it's slipping because it's getting stringy talking about slip it's slipping all right it's about to slip and slide out that damn follicle and remember that damaged hair is going to absorb products and is going to absorb and relate to products a lot different than healthy hair is so a lot of y'all to be using products and be like it ain't make my hair feel good it's because your hair ain't good huh stop blaming the products the products ain't do nothing your hair ain't good that's why your products didn't make your hair feel good because your hair ain't good that's what happened you don't have bad hair and then you, you don't have damaged hair and then you put product on your hair and then automatically because the product went on your damaged hair is healthy hair no if it was damaged before the product went on it now it's just damaged with product on it how can you maximize absorption when we're talking about hair products from the shampooing process all the way up to the styling process? Now, in the seven day challenge, I break all of this down and you know exactly how to follow the certain simplistic patterns, right? But in short, to maximize absorption, you're going to use warm water because warm water opens the cuticle, allowing you to control the levels of hydration that your hair is absorbing or releasing you always want to remember that before you apply any product especially one that is supposed to be helping your hair in any way you need to open the cuticle safely a warm order does that next up apply heat right and that's what I told you about the towel now you can do the little towel trick that I taught you about or you can get a heated dryer or you can get a steamer a hoodie dryer or a steamer it's up to you um in the hair salon obviously girl we don't got time to be doing wet towels and stuff that's why a steamer or not a steamer wasn't my choice for conditioning treatments but that's why a steamer or a hoodie dryer is what we use in the hair salon but if it's just you girl you don't need to do that get you some plastic caps even though the hair shaft is only able to absorb that 30 to 40 percent right if something is happening where your hair shaft is not opening properly like it's supposed to you won't even get that 30 to 40 percent so that's why we do do things like this with the cat because imagine the hair is only absorbing 30 to 40 percent but if something's going on where we can't get the cuticle open the way we need to it can't even do that so that part's really important lastly is the 
layering products and I think that this is where everybody lost their butter sickles right because you guys took layering products to a whole nother level when in the hair salon for me layering products means I'm gonna give you a couple of examples first you do this shampoo then conditioner then the leave-in conditioner and depending on what styles you do depends on what products you layer next right so shampoo conditioner leave-in conditioner is standard across the board no matter how you're styling your hair if I'm gonna do braids right after the leave-in conditioner I blow dry my hair I braid it up there's really not too much of anything that I'm doing the only other product that some people may use is an oil on the ends as they're braiding right they may put like a dime size amount of oil on their client's hair and then go like this to smooth everything out right before they start braiding right so that is an additional thing so that would be considered layering products shampoo conditioner leave-in conditioner blow dry the hair a little bit of oil on the ends as you braid it up and then it's over in hair salons or sometimes you may see people control flyaways which are new hair I hate it when I see people take scissors and like oh these just cut all of these off like if you went bald somewhere and then you reset your hair growth cycle and they're growing now now, naturally you're gonna see little short pieces that are shorter than the other pieces because it's brand new hair so why would you cut it all off anyway let's say the 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 routine that you're gonna follow is the silk press then it will be the layers will go shampoo conditioner leave-in conditioner heat protection and then the last layer would be a serum to lock everything in right if you were gonna do a roller set the layers would be shampoo conditioner leave-in conditioner foam right a foam wrap to help you set those bonds and then that last layer would be a serum to help you separate your curls Th those are layers right those are product layers but you have to really make sure that you're using the right amount putting puddles of these products all of these creams and oils and butters and greases and stuff that y'all using I saw some girl oh my god I just wanted to smack her through the screen like she literally got every oil that has ever been created put it all in one big bowl and was like I'm about to use this to do my hair and y'all was all in the comments like yes yes and yes, it may be yes. I ain't trying to rain on nobody parade. Girl, swim in that oil. Huh? Swim in it. Mm. It's not necessary, right? Uh, oil, like the hair shaft can only absorb 30 to 40% of whatever you put on it. So layering products like this, following people that do things like this, you are clearly following people who know nothing about hair, but they know everything about products and how to sell them and they are selling them to you. Yeah.